This is a presentation of RBT Entertainment. What's your name, ma'am? Stacy. Oh, Stacy. What do you do for a living, Stacy? I work for a Christian publishing company. If there's one thing I can't stand. <laughs> Listen up, slap nuts. Sit down, dummy, I'm talking. You know, they say all men are created equal, but you look at me and you look at Small Joe, and you can see that statement is not true. Oh, Wendy. He's fat. You f***ing numpty. Will you laugh that ah. face? Shut your mouth. Ah. The cream of the crop. But he does it better. Hey, hi, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the WrestleCast, presented by RBT Entertainment on the BrokenInfinite.com, on the Mac.com, iTunes, and wherever else we find this fine idea recording and live on RBT Entertainment's official Twitch.tv channel. We talk about professional wrestling, both in the mainstream and the independent scene. My name is Matty J. Hey. TWK. Tranquilo, Asenayo. He's been telling me that all week. Has it worked? All week. Well, I'll tell you what did. What did, I will tell you what helped my mood this week. Having one of the best hours of audio of online radio ever, with the man who made the theme song to Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers! Doodly, doodly, doodly. You, 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 you make fun of it, but I can no, tell you. Not a little fun. Ron Wasserman can out snark you. He's got that much sass, huh? He is. The, the, the thing is up on YouTube. I listen to it after the show while you play. Uh, after the show tonight, you go on our our, our YouTube channel. Uh -huh, Click uh -huh, the thing, uh -huh. and while you're playing uh -huh. Yakuza 6, watch yep. three fanboys laugh their ass off while Ron Wasserman literally does what would be the Power Ranger equivalent of a shoot video. All righty then. That, not, not one of them boring hour, five zillion hour long things where it's so boring it's just said uh, and then we're the hate. There's heat, but there's funny heat. You know, one of them you shoot videos. So it's a good old riffing time, is what you're telling yes. me. Yes. Seriously, Ron Wasserman, I, I could tell you without a doubt, one of the best guests we've ever had on Recap. That easily, if not the best. But nevertheless, uh, uh, we're unfortunately ignoring our awesome guest tonight. Yeah, we got we got to bring that in. We got to bring that in. Uh, we're not alone because, ladies and gentlemen, WrestleMania goddamn week. Uh, WrestleMania is so goddamn big. We got to split our preview of two weeks. This is part one of our WrestleMania weekend preview show to help us with that and to bitch about Charlotte Flair winning her SmackDown Women's Championship, if only for a little bit. Um, I believe. Uh, I don't know. Do we? Do, Shane Tiger Carl, did we wake up Pete Dunn again? Hello there. Um, my name is Walter. I'm a big git. I'm a fatty, and all I know how to do is slap people. It's the only move I know because I'm too stupid to remember anything else. Slippity slap, slippity slap. Yeah, we woke him up. What are you talking about? I'm Walter. Um, how could you confuse me for the mask, the pinnacle of male masculinity that is Pete? Pete, well, go back what? to watching your Red Dwarf. Yeah. You can't prove that it's not me, Walter, the biggest, fattest git in the world. <laughs> all right, all right. Answer me this. What is AJ Styles? AJ Styles is a woman man. <laughs> oh, Pete, 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 Pete. All right, you bloody caught me, you bunch of wankers. Hey, hey, if it makes you feel better, 
You're good at book reading. You you have a future in audiobooks. I have a future in anything I'm doing. <laughs> you won't have a future in wrestling after next week, it seems. Don't say that. Oh, I'll have a future. All I have to do is lay some fish and chips in the ring. Walter will be too busy eating them because he's a fatty. Then I'll pin him one, two, three. Still UK champion. Me, Peter. I mean, it's one way to do it. <laughs> have you seen what he did? Did you see the damage he did to his previous opponent, Pete? What, those mosquito bites he calls hits? I'm pretty sure the last opponent who was in the ring with him needed to have their chest checked out because it was caved in. Yeah. You 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 are you are in heavy day even if you win, you're gonna have a crater instead of a chest. That bloke was nothing more than a tosser who only who only weighed about two pounds soaking bloody wet. I'm a real man. Just ask your mother. All Pete right, Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Pete Dunn, everybody. He might be he might be coming back a little later. Shan, how are you, bud? Yeah, aside from dealing with a slight uh, back injury and feeling like I just ran a marathon with Big Show on my back. <laughs> could I <laughs> You could have said so it sounded like Pete Dunn stretched you for about half an hour, but that works as well. Uh, like I said, he's too busy watching Red Dwarf. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, he's back to watching Red Dwarf now. <laughs> anyway, so here's what's going on. I explained at the very beginning, at the very top of the program, that uh, WrestleMania is so damn big. And T-Dub, I'm assuming, is, is covering his ass in case he has to go into work early again on a Saturday next week. You can never be too sure. In fairness, I don't blame him. And we're going to have so much time because we're, we have to preview TakeOver next weekend. Now, we have to review it next weekend because we'll be live as soon as the show is done. Yeah, Good but boy. They, tend to, they tend to run long for TakeOvers. Uh, well, it starts at 7, so I imagine it'll end around 9.30, 9.45. Sounds about That's right. That's what we have here on, on, on the on the docket there. So uh, we will preview TakeOver this week, but we're doing it in our first segment because uh, next weekend, Tito, at, at the behest of Shintai Curl, and I mean, to be honest, I'd rather do it next week because at least it, it gets us to talk about it next week instead of bitching about WrestleMania for two hours. But uh, in fairness... We're still going to bitch about WrestleMania for two hours, and we want to gush about this for about half an hour. So, in our third segment, because the card is pretty much come fucking complete, Vinny, we're going to be previewing Ring of Honor slash New Japan Pro Wrestling's G1 Supercard at Madison Square Garden, the one venue that, that said, Hey, Vinny, fuck you! It's pretty much what they said. Tell me I'm wrong. You are not wrong. You are, I am not wrong. Anyway, so here's, uh, so that's what we're doing. But first, uh, we got to talk about some news. And of course, uh, we got your winners, losers, losers, and we got an email this week. So we'll talk about that. And maybe a little Q&A if you have, we have a little bit of time. That being said, uh, let's get it going. By the way, Maddie D is in our chat room. Hello, sir. Sorry, we, we, you oh. caught us in the middle of a skit there. <laughs> oh, just, hey, uh, Matty D. I Matty love that D. guy. Hi, Matty D. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Kevin Steen's number one fan. And, and the I young bugs. And, I'm the young a fan. and I'm a fan of Matty D's artwork. It was awesome. So say hi. Say oh, hi yeah, Indie Fan. I'm assuming that stands for yeah. Indie Fan, which. Indie Fan, yeah. Yes, he is. And. <laughs> like. The artwork he does is fucking phenomenal. Yeah, Indie uh, fan one on Instagram. A lot of the, uh, a lot of some of his artwork uh, happens to be out there. It is awesome. It is awesome fan art. You should do all the signs. <laughs> oh, and uh, Maddie likes your Pete Dunn. There you go. Glad he enjoyed it. Yeah, you might get it again a little uh, later in the in the program, but we will uh, begin, ladies and gentlemen, with our clip of the week. I. Uh, Honestly, 
If we're going to talk about NXT, we got to talk about the main event of that at that particular evening, which will feature my boy and uh, and uh, and uh, Johnny Wrestling too. Yeah, that's a thing. I feel I feel bad for Gargano, but we'll talk about that in a, in a few seconds. This is their confrontation in the ring at NXT uh, at NXT at the NXT tape at the uh, at the. Uh, and then, and then, uh, uh, words. Uh, Use them. Words. I will speak them eventually. But At the Mania. NXT program that aired on the WWE Network streaming device thing this week. Take a listen while I fu- while I fix my fucking mouth. My path to the NXT Championship goes through you. I'm gonna show you why. They call me. Johnny, take over, baby! Johnny, 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 Johnny. Johnny, is, is that supposed to scare me? Because listen, Johnny, I don't know if your memory has been shot, but you haven't necessarily been in the old winner's circle when it comes to takeover. I think maybe it'd be more appropriate if it was... Uh, uh, maybe Johnny participation. <laughs> And the fact is, Johnny participation cannot beat Adam Cole two out of three falls. And here's why. I became the first ever NXT North American champion at TakeOver. The first ever War Games match in WWE history. I won and I did it at TakeOver. My debut here in NXT, I beat down Drew McIntyre, held the NXT Championship high above my head in the Barclays Center, and I did it at TakeOver. So, so how fitting is it that we return to the Barclays Center for me to reach the, the pinnacle of my NXT career by becoming NXT Champion and beating you in the process? What has Johnny TakeOver done to earn this championship match at TakeOver New York? Let me remind you what I went through just to get here, okay? They didn't roll out the red carpet for me like they did for you. I didn't get the debut in front of 15,000 people in New York and get a top spot immediately in NXT. No, my story started June 2015 at my tryout where I was told no. But you know what? I didn't take no for an answer, okay? I fought for one chance, and that chance came at the first ever Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. I fought so hard that they chanted Johnny Wrestling. I fight for everyone out there who's ever been told no. I fight for everyone who's ever been told that their dream will not come true. I fought and I earned everything I have because this place, this place is my life. I will fight to fulfill my destiny. And Johnny Wrestling will finally become NXT Champion. Not the best promo out of Adam Cole, unfortunately, but still a fair, fairly decent one, and it did, it, did, it did get the job done. And that's presumably the main event. It should be the main event of TakeOver New York. We will talk about that in a few minutes, but uh, we will do an abbreviated news segment before we do that. Uh, I don't know if you want to do Impact this week or not, but I, I, I'd skip uh, no, it. No, no, no. Let, let's keep things short as possible. Yes. Uh First thing, talk about the biggest news of one of the biggest news of the week, the one that we have been waiting months for. Finally, going to Hall of Fame for a second time, Bret Hart, and for the first time, Jim Danville, not Hart, the Hart Foundation. There you go. So one of the biggest uh, biggest absences uh, for, for 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 the Hall of Fame, and unfortunately, another post uh, post uh, umus, uh posthumous. Uh, well, you know the posthumous. Word. Posthumous. Thank you. 
Um, and I, I obviously I will not be able to word well. But uh, one of the biggest deals uh, is the Horror Foundation. If I feel bad for for uh, for uh, for uh, Jim Nightheart and his family, they'll have to put him in the Hall of Fame uh, after his uh, death. But it is well deserved. Yeah, th- this is becoming a trend where they're just way too late on a lot of these inductions, and after their deaths, they really need to step up their step up the pace and just get some people in there while they're still alive. Honestly, as much as I want um, wanted a honky talk man in this, I think they could have made some room for Vader. They could have. They could have. They could have made some room for name a name a guy at this point. Yeah. Because I will say, you say it's the last one to be inducted, but rumors rumor has it it's Brutus Beefcake that's going to be the uh, the, uh, the the last inductee for this class. Which again, not a bad pick, but considering all the other people now, a, maybe it, not the best pick. I don't know. Uh, Beaver can wait. Honestly, he's in no he's in no rush to. Um, he's relatively healthy. Hopefully that that they can't they don't have to rush him in. Let's but, knock on wood. I'm knocking on wood now. Yeah, but I still say Vader should be in this in this year. He, he really deserves uh, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. Easily. Yes, and but nevertheless, congrats to Bret Hart on his second induction, and yeah. congrats to the uh, family of the Anvil. And I assume that way, Natty will be, and Natty will be probably accept the, the award for uh, for for Jim. By the way, so Shawn Michaels is getting two rings. Brett's getting two rings. Same year. Same year. Booker's getting two rings. Booker's getting two rings. <laughs> thought I thought I pointed out. It's like okay, and they announced DX first. So did they just want to appease Bret Hart? That what it was? If that's dude, that Aina Shawn Michaels is going in twice, then so am I. <laughs> Well, there gonna go. be, they're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of twofers in, in in the coming year. It feels like a yeah, yeah. The outlaws are definitely going in. As a, uh, as a probably player. in a few years. Yeah, not, not uh, if 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 DX is the package deal and they're still, I don't know. Bob, what's the over under on Billy Gunn wearing an AEW merch, some sort of AEW merch during his induction? Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I I go under, but I put just a, I just put I put a dollar in there. Just I put a dollar in there just in case. I will say this: I don't, I don't think you have to bet too much uh, on an AEW chant to breaking out of the Hall of Fame, Poor especially family. over the news that WWE is telling Tampa for next year, hey, uh, no Indies, fuck the Indies. Wait, what? Yeah. Apparently, WWE is making a push uh, to uh, to uh, to the Tampa Bay area that uh, and any significant venue uh, do not accept anything other than WWE, oh, except for except a... for the one thing, except for the one thing, uh, which was confirmed by the man himself. Joey Janela's spring break will indeed happen. They got they got the building before the 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 embargo, so to speak. Oh, that is gonna sell the fuck out. That yes. <laughs> Especially if there's no if 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 that's true, what I just said. I mean, they're, they're, I'm taking that with a grain of salt. But if that's true, they're gonna need a bigger building. <laughs> that's just a reality the biggest, there. The biggest building. Well, at least we know which build, which are, uh, shows gonna have the biggest power royale now. Mm. Yep. Uh anyways. I guess we should get to the elephant in the proverbial the proverbial elephant in the room. That Let's is... spend as less as possible because people are looking forward to me sh- bitching about this. As look, folks, I'm calm. I have enhanced my calm. Tranquilo. So yes, this Tuesday on SmackDown Live, out of friggin' nowhere, Charlotte won the women's title. You want to know why, folks? 
Because Vince fought, Charlotte needed something. Literally. Literally. The triple threat needed something. No, from what I've heard, it's that they want to have an if if uh, Sasha and Bailey retain their belts, they want to have all the four horse women do a like a photo op of all of them wearing gold, which would make no goddamn sense, kayfabe. It's a current call thing. It's a current call it's, thing. If that happens. And, and I'm kind of worried that the crowd might turn on it because they sacrificed the entire SmackDown women's division to do it. Again, it's one of those, like, Asuka going from potential five-minute match on the main card to she's 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 a maybe on the pre-show Battle Royal. She's in the Battle Royal, actually. Okay, so that's confirmed. That's good. Yeah, she is in the Battle Royal along with the rest of the SmackDown women's division. <sighs> I, I, sad, to, sad to say, but Asuka was a prop. Her entire title run from start to finish was a prop for this main event. It, it certainly feels like I it. I mean, it, it feels like it. It definitely wasn't up until Tuesday, obviously. The, the idea was, okay, the big deal was the 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 the, uh, the, the, the main event, obviously. And it should. It's the first main event, it, it, women's main event in WrestleMania history. It deserves as much as much attention as as any other WrestleMania main event should. But at the sacrifice of the women's division on SmackDown, it no. Yeah, it is just it feels like they're going like all right. So Vince just has this thing where he just seems to want to overcomplicate something that should be very very simple. It's like this. This feud's been building if, in month for months over Twitter. Match that. Hell, they they did that with Ronda. Ironically enough, they let they let Ronda be pissed off. That's all they needed. I'm Charlotte mad. gets in there. She cuts a good promo. Becky is well. Becky Lynch, obviously, and and the Twitter and and then the Twitter game is 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 there. It will be there forever and ever until the end of time. And then Ronda, all she needed was that fire. It's like that do not give a fuck attitude. And so there you go. There was no need to overcomplicate things. And hairball, I am not going to hit the fucking bullshit button. I've done that multiple times verbally myself on Tuesday. Thank you very much. And by the way, for up for the blow up wasn't about the Charlotte thing though. That was the catalyst for the blow up and the argument and the call. The arc argument was there was. We're two literally a week away, and we don't have a full a fully announced card for the biggest show of the year. Few a few shows a few years back, we at least had three quarters of the thing fully announced and ready to go. We had all the main events and and any lower mid card matches and all that stuff announced and stipulated and all that stuff squared away. All we had was a lower card to figure out. This year, we we were finishing. The, the, the penultimate week, and we still don't know what the fuck the main event's going to be. And we know it's triple threat. We know it's for the women's title. But now with the SmackDown title, what the fuck kind of stipulation is there going to be? You know, will it be, will it be no DQ? Who gets what? What happens? What the fuck? I've heard some of the... I've heard some rumors detailing about what the stipulation for this match is, and you won't believe what they're trying to do. Basically, it's like this. If either Charlotte or Becky, I mean, either Charlotte or um, Ronda. Oh, Becky, by, by, yeah. The, if for those, uh, the, actually, I'll stop you right there. Uh, Luke Owen of Russell Talk did it better. He explained the entire situation, and then he went, oh, no, I've gone cross-eyed. Yeah, I do watch that video. Yeah. Pretty much. It's, an, it's a convoluted mess. It's a clusterfuck, because... Becky pins a champion. She wins that championship. Charlotte pins. Uh, Charlotte beats Ro uh, Rossi. She gets both. She gets two belts. Uh, if a champion gets the fall, they retain the championship. Whoever and both and actually both retain the championship in that in that case in in a technicality. And uh, that's the simple. That's the simplest explanation I can give you. But to put it into in my own under estimate, 
in my own estimation, three things can happen in this main event. One, we could have a double champion. Yeah. Two, one show champion remains the same, so the status quo remains the same. Or three, Becky walks out of WrestleMania without a single goddamn belt. And that's the impossibility because at this point, it's the main event. Becky earned her win. Yeah, the well, fans I'm have we... want the win. And after yeah. last year's clusterfuck, WWE better give us a fucking positive ending. Oh, this one's going to be even a bigger clusterfuck. Let's I, mean, just I think back. I think the one no matter the one's constant to me is babyface wins main event mania. It, it should always be that way, but you know they like to throw a curveball every now and again, and it like last and year. And I don't think if they do that again, they're gonna fuck up mania doing that. I don't see. I don't see Vince pulling that trigger twice. Let us hope not. Mania is yeah. halfway fucked up at this point. Anyways, yeah. Anyway, that's well, that is, ladies and gentlemen, our bitching for the evening. So we're done. <laughs> one positive thing, and one thing that we hope they will not screw up at WrestleMania when it actually happens is Kofi Mania. I mean, I mean hey, I'm took them long I'm enough to back. make it official, but there it is, Brian v. Kofi. WWE Hemp Peewee title. Not the way I would have wanted him to get the shot, but at this point, I'll take anything. Yeah. Because it because he should have gotten the he should have kept his shot last week when he did that gauntlet match. This week, it not to say it's bad. It just doesn't feel the same. Like. <sighs> Like he really felt like he earned it last week. This week, yeah. it's just it was Biggie and and Xavier winning it for him. It it just doesn't have the same impact. I'm glad it happened. I'm glad he's still going to the main, to the main event. But still, it could have been better. That's just me though. Eh, let's hope was that. It is. Let's just hope that they do the smart thing. Put belt on Kofi, even if it's only for a month or two. Yeah, people are people. Are, oh, Kofi's gonna have no, Kofi's not. It is not meant to last long. But if it does happen, awesome. If not, if not Brian is about to get a shitload of heat. It's and, and Kofi and, and at this point, this is all Kofi needs to cement himself. It, this will make him grand slam. Do it, and hairball and hairball. Mad props to the Usos for what they did. Ex agreed. That was a class act and a, and a very good character move, too. Uh, continuity. Continuity. There it is. And in, in, in any world where continuity is, 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 what is continuity? But there it is. That was continuity. And Haribo Pete says, uh, Peak does no evolution paper will be this year. Why? Because no Ronda. Well, you don't even know that. That One of the rumors I've read was they want to make sure that they know if Ronda is going to stay or not. That's why the triple threat with the two belts. Figure that shit out. I think they can do an evolution pay per view without Ronda easily. Hell, they got it. They got a star in, in Becky Lynch. But it is what it is. Yeah. And and uh, to drag the mood down a little, one match we won't be getting at WrestleMania, it seems, is the Usos versus the Hardys because the Hardys are in the arm bar. Yes, the, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, aka also known as Arm Bar! Whoever came up with that acronym, you're awesome, by the way. <laughs> that is awesome. Then yeah. Who, then, then who, are the, who are the Usos going to fit? Probably the bar. Ironically enough. But you know what? Yes, it's repetitive. Yes, it's the 6,327th time they've met, but I don't remember them having a bad match. I know, but I was so looking forward to the Hardys versus I know. the Usos. That could have as, been I, as really, I was, really as was I, match. as was I. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I just want them to. I just wanted some proper build up. Half of these matches on this on WrestleMania have no proper build up. No, nah, that that's the reality, folks. I mean, d d don't get me wrong. The Bar versus the Usos is gonna gonna be bloody magnificent, but. Even Where's if it's just a five minute match, and they're gonna they're gonna rock the fucking house easily, no doubt. But 
this should not be booked like a regular ass pay per view. This is WrestleMania. It should have more build up than this. Should, but here's here's how I, I see this going. I said that on on ref down before uh, Madison's side the trigger, the rage of all rages. Shit build up usually equals good mania. True. Especially in the modern day in the last uh, few years, that seems to be the constant. So, hopefully that's the case. It'll be awesome. You know, it's def- be awesome. you know what definitely had a great delivery? What? Omega Man, a pro wrestling love story. Yeah, th- this was uh, air- this aired on TSN here in Canada. And, uh, wow, that... Th- Missing a few key things, but they kept it straight, uh, strictly on Kenny and uh, and his uh, relationship with Kote Ibushi with the uh, Golden Lovers tag team. And uh, this was a great documentary. It, it is on YouTube somewhere. It's floating somewhere. You should be able to find it. New no problem. And yeah, it is absolutely phenomenal. I enjoyed every minute of it. And one of the cool things that the documentary team decided to do was interview some fans, including one of the people I actually follow on Twitter, Isita Marie. Ah! So, uh, yeah, give her a follow. She's an awesome person, and I honestly marked out seeing her actually in a documentary that's going to be seen by a lot of people. And the fact they actually did interview some fans of Kenny, that's just absolutely great. And as may I say, you know, they focused, you know, the documentary on uh, Kenny's journey through... Uh, through WWE, and when Kenny left WWE, he had a match with AJ Styles, and afterwards, AJ Styles was like, you made the best decision of your life, leaving that crap of a company, WWE. Yeah. that That's AJ Styles for you, ironically enough. Uh, and Hairball, uh, I will have you this. Yes, t- usually Mattis, Mattis was with us when it ca- came to the... Uh, that the Charlotte, he was like, he was like, okay, confused. And the one thing you could accuse, you could think was like, it's heel heat, which, in fairness, that's that that that, that achieves some of that at least. But again, that's not the reason why I raged on him there. Also, uh, Maddie was, what does Maddie want to say for SummerSlam? What does he want you to say for SummerSlam? Save her for SummerSlam, oh. manage him. Oh, you're talking about Hardy's versus Usos? Ooh, yeah, Hardy's Usos. That's a good point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hardy's Usos ladder. Yes. 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 SummerSlam. It feels right. It feels it, right. It, the it, battle of the bro. I wonder. It's like there it's twenty it's twenty nineteen, so we're two year we're two years off from the twentieth anniversary of the of the uh we're about a year off of the twentieth anniversary of that particular ladder match, but but we are close to the 10-year anniversary I mean, of the tag the team tenth. ladder match from No Mercy. Uh, uh, when, uh, no, it would be 20, wouldn't it? Oh, it would be 20. 20-year 20 anniversary. 20. Yeah. 20-year anniversary of the No Mercy ladder match. Ooh. The Terry Invitational Tournament. Tit. Yes, Tits. Maddie. Tits. Won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh come on! You know, you know damn well the the stingers the, the is the fact that I went with the meme again. You would, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll totally be in favor of that, Maddie. You... Where I'm in favor of that. Uh, that's actually long term booking. Don't work for Vince. Uh, that will never work. <laughs> anyways, came back on topic. The Ken and Mega documentary, absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the cool things they showed was they actually showed the three minute match. That he had with like with a little girl, which they is amazing. showed. They, they showed that, that that's what got him his in, in, initial infamy. So of course also, it makes sense. Also, uh, they showed Kota Ibushi wrestling the sex doll. Yes, which I was like, <laughs> yes, please, because they context because the they needed part. it for context. They didn't show the best part though, which is the well, endless Canadian destroyer. Oh, you mean the infinite destroyer? Yes. Yes. <laughs> the most dangerous move in pro wrestling. Yes. Only one man can do it. And Kota still kicked out. I I I, I love DDT. I need to watch yes. more of it. <laughs> 
also a news album that just put a huge smile on the face of Shintai Curl here. CEO X AEW is official, and the first match announced is Alex Jabaley in a rematch against Michael Nakazawa. Hardcore match. Ladies and gentlemen, I watched this week's uh, Being the Elite, which is why, where it was in, officially announced first. Uh, I, 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 as soon as I saw that, I'm like, oh, good Lord, Shintyre Curl popped a boner. <laughs> and at yeah. the time, I probably didn't know why until he watched the video himself. And ex I, So expect some run-ins from a lot of the FGC. <laughs> I, expect, I expect Yipes to get him some. Chris Matrix is going to be there and get him some. Tasty Steve is, of course, going to get him some because he's Tasty Steve. Yep. I don't know about Sage. Sage Jam looks like a punk. <laughs> D1 is going to be D1 because D1 is awesome. And for some, oh, Smug's going to be there because he's going to be doing what he does best, beat the crap out of uh, Michael Nakazawa with ease, with the greatest of ease. Shaka okay. And, of course, um, Sonic Fox will be there to remind people that he's gay. Also, Matty J, you got to leave the Booker T impressions to me, dog. Fair enough. And, yeah, um, this is just going to be a fun match. Also, I, for some reason, I can't tell pre predict, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy, but because this is a CEO event, maybe, just maybe, we can finally get the match I've been wanting for years and years, and that is Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson, a.k.a. the Young Bucks, a.k.a. the Bucks of Youth, a.k.a. whatever you want to call them, taking on the team of... Xavier Woods and whoever's tag team partner may be in during that day, be it Big E or Xavier, be it Big E or Kofi Kingston. You're crazy. Would yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, there's no fucking way in hell Vince will sanction, will even sanction an appearance from New Day now. I know, I know. It's just wishful thinking. No fucking thinking. way. We I mean, can... don't get me wrong. If that happens, all Jaws, including D-Dubs, will be on the floor. Permanently. Permanently. Because they were on the floor when I first heard Elite versus New Day in, in, in a Street Fighter gimmick. And I watched that in full and I was like, ah, that's fun. That douchebag got that douchebag on the microphone got kicked in the face. Poor tasty Steve. Am I supposed to call him a douchebag? I wasn't sure. No, he's not a douchebag. He's actually pretty cool. Now, if it was LTG, then you could call him. Ah, uh -huh. well, apologies, uh, apologies to taste to, to a tasty Steve then. Anyway, more news. Nevertheless, I will be looking. Nevertheless, I'll be looking forward to that upcoming event, including the, of, of course, the main event of the whole eve, the whole shebang, the CEO Rumble. I have no clue what the game will be for the Rumble, but expect some glorious entrances. And that is all the news that I have for the week. Uh, yeah, I will tell you right now, if if by some chance I get to participate to one of these, hit the mortarhead button. That's all I'm going to say. I have a bit of news. Sure. Ah. sure. Uh, we have in a rather, rather lengthy letter. One Lucas Harper it has it said that he will be busy for the um, for WrestleMania weekend. He will be wrestling an access match against um, Donovan Dijak. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, that's that's right. really good yeah, match. Yeah, they're, 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 the bunch of... Uh, you, we don't need to read the letter itself, but... What uh, T what uh, Shen is referencing uh, during uh, WrestleMania Access weekend next weekend, a uh, bunch of TV tape is including a NXT couple of NXT UK episodes, obviously a couple of NXT episodes, a couple of tournaments, some women's matches, a whole lot of stuff is going to be filmed and canned for the WWE Network. So uh, uh, during World Access, you want to watch some graphs? There's a ring. You sit down. You're going to watch something. Yeah, it's going to be Worlds Collide again. And this time, they're including all five brands for this. 
Yeah, so the, the 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 people who need who need some busy time for Raw and the SmackDown thing, they will be busy in that. That's gonna be yeah, awesome. Raw, SmackDown, NXT, NXT UK, and two hundred five live. There you go. Thank you, Triple H. At least you're doing something better than Vinny. Anyway, I so am <clears throat> the wrestling daddy. He's everyone's daddy. Uh. <laughs> Especially because he keeps making dad jokes on Raw now. God damn it. I'm, I'm, I, I, I was watching Raw. He did. He did. The, 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 he read the letter and he, he referenced that. I'm doing the job for the envelope now. <laughs> that was totally a dad joke. I was, but at the same time, that is such a wrestling joke at the same time. And he's a wrestler. <laughs> Wrestling dad, so it makes sense. He is a rust. He is a, he's an actual dad. He's a wrestling dad, and he is at that point where he don't give a fuck too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, good, good old pop trips. Yes. All right, let's get to the previewing, shall we? We got a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of matches. Uh, we have a uh, NXT Takeover New York, a, a, aka Brooklyn Five. Uh, from uh, the Barclays Center, which will play home to all the shows except for the big one on Sunday. You know the one. Uh, April 5th. Well, it's one of the big shows. Yes, yeah, so they, they're uh, doing this on the Friday, uh, which is a, uh, April 5th, 2019, Brooklyn, New York, and uh, Disturbed, one of the theme songs. Yay. Happy for T Dub. He gets to listen to good music during a takeover. That's not a bad thing. Well, takeover usually does have some. They really usually awesome. do. They usually do. That's true. That's, that's and a of course, bit of Disturbed a is my number one. Disturbed, my number one favorite band all time. He has good choice. He has good taste. I'm gonna say. And uh, in case you're wondering, ugh, I don't want to watch too much wrestling. This this will be a nice little aperitif. A little, nice little. Uh, a little bit of a, a moose boosh. Uh, it, well, you get the idea. Uh, they have. Now, they, they, the wiki has it all mixed up. I have the two out of three falls. I don't know the, what to do. The Satan and Ron find the person is you. They got War Raiders taking on Aleister Black and Ricochet for the NXT Tag Team Championship. I'm calling War Raiders to retain. It's nice. I love it. I love you, black. I love you, black and Alice. I mean, I love you, black and Ricochet. But um, War Raiders need this. They need to. They need a strong run. Plus, you got a tag title match at Mania somewhere in there too. So, can't win two. Can't win four belts, boys. You only win Maybe. two. Possibly. I don't uh, for the United Kingdom Heavyweight Championship, Pete Dunne defends against Walta. Walter's gonna kill you. God damn it. Walter's gonna kill you. You really got, don't poke the don't poke the Pete Dunn. I, I can only speak the facts. I'm Walter, and I'm here to say that I'm gonna lose terribly to the man who's been banging my mom for the last fifteen years. <laughs> Pete Dunn. <laughs> God damn it. Well, he, he, well, he does have a kid, so he's definitely been banging. <laughs> okay. So that's a thing that's... Uh, so so uh, are we all calling Walter? I mean... I know I am. It makes sense. Well, he done had the belt be for two fucking enough. years, for God's sakes. To be perfectly honest, if it's if it's got to be anyone to t to end this epic epic reign of the Bruiser Weight, let it be the Ring General. Let him die by the sword. He may he he'll lose, but at least Walter will know he's been in a fight. Yes. Uh, for the women's championship. Shayna Baszler defends her title in a fatal four-way against Io Shirai, Bianca Belair, and Kyrie Sane. I smell a new champion, but I just don't know who. Uh, that's 
That's the crazy one. I, do I do we go with Kyrie Sane or Bianca Belair? Because it could be EO. It could be EO as well. But my nice. my gut saying put it on either Belair or Kyrie Sane. Belair because I think, she I think she could have a decent run and when when the crowd eventually turns her heel, she'll turn to heel and she'll turn the switch back to heel and we'll be all honky dory. I want to put it on Sane. Because of that, because of that fucking awesome entrance she does with that belt. Uh, I want to say either Kyrie or Io. That makes sense. I'm not sure about Bel Air yet. I like her, but is she still missing a little something for me to warrant her put, putting the belt on her? Could be one not of those things. Or put the, material. It could be. It could be a case of. Put the belt on her. The extra pressure produces that thing that she's missing. That's where I'm yeah. thinking with this one. Yeah. Have her see, get some more seasoning for like six more months and then maybe put the belt on her. But for me, it's either EO or... No, that makes sense. I could honestly see uh, either three of them. Or they could post Swerve and Shayna retains. But I do feel like... I don't know. I just there's just this feeling of new champion to me. You think she might get called up if she drops it? Possibly. Maybe. Hmm. I mean, it's a crapshoot. It definitely is. Don't get me wrong, but you never know. There really is no wrong answer in this kind of match. There, there really isn't. All right, and the semi-main, I hope it's the semi-main here. Here's a match I'm looking forward to. The Velveteen Dream defends the NXT North American Heavyweight Championship against, bro, Matt Riddle. Hi, Twilight Ranger. You said hi earlier. What's up? <laughs> you keep saying, hey, Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Hi, Twilight Ranger. How is you? I am doing wrestling show. Anyway. Hello, how is you? Apologies for the earbud, uh, for your ears, folks. Just some people need to say hi. I noticed, senpai noticed you. <laughs> anyway, so Velveteen Dream versus going? Matt Riddle. I don't know. Uh, gonna... yeah, I, I'm very conflicted because on one hand, Matt Riddle would be an amazing champion. On the other hand. Give Velveteen Dream a super long reign with the belt. Yes. Um, also, like, check your volume because you. I think you went close and uh, you it lowered your mic by accident there. Hello! How do I sound there now? Go. There you go. Yes. <laughs> like I said, I don't know which one to go with because Matt Riddle would be an awesome champion and the same, and in the same respect, Velveteen Dream, just maybe give him a really long run. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I am the epitome of, a, of conflicted right at this moment. As much as I love the the bro team that is Matt Riddle, I'd say have Dream retain. He like like Matty like um T Dub said he needs a long title reign with that belt because what he did on 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 NXT this um, past Wednesday, this this guy's got ideas yeah. for that run. Yeah, let him let him hold that belt for a good long while. I want to see what else, what other crazy shit he can do. Better yet, make pretty much make um, Velveteen Dream the the uh, make him to to the un, to the um you you to the North American title what the Miz is to the Intercontinental title. Just make him synonymous with that. Oh, that could work. That could work. Anyway. <laughs> And in the main event, and it should be the main event, the vacant NXT Heavyweight Championship of the World. <sighs> I kind of wish it was Ciampa versus Gargano. But if this is a consolation prize, goddamn, I am okay with this. Johnny Gargano takes on Adam Cole, baby! And I'm with Zach in the chat. This most of this takeover has me very conflicted. It it it, it, it is. It's it's it's. I, mean, I think the only one that's a constant for us really is if uh, uh, it would be the, the the first two matches, the UK title and the NXT tag titles. Really. Yeah, and uh, as far as Gargano versus Cole, put it on Gargano. Give Gargano gold. 
Yeah, the buildup yeah. was to give Gargano the, the 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 big moment, and obviously it would have been great to have seen Gargano versus uh, Ciampa with that big cathartic end with with where Gargano finally topples uh, Ciampa for the uh, with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with 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 uh, with with uh, with the thing, if I could word properly. With with all the build up, it just makes sense to have Gargano finally get one on the big one, but. This this is still pretty. This is Adam Cole versus Johnny Gargano. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm so conflicted. I I I cannot pick up a winner. I know. Part of me wants. Part of me wants to put it on Adam Cole because goddamn Adam Cole with the NXT title. Yes, please. And, and it would go a long way in the the quest for the undisputed era to have all the gold in NXT this year. And. Rumor has it one of the uh, the one of the I think it was Maria Shafir, no Jessamyn Duke. The uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, one of uh, Shayna's uh, Shayna Baszler's cronies uh, will be joining Undisputed Era as the female. So that's a possibility. Yeah, if that's true, then I can't pick. I. I can't. I literally can't. I want. I like both of these guys. I both want them to have the belt because they both kind of earn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Which one of these guys once wrestled with a shoe on their hand? Gargano. There you go. You know what, Jim? It makes a whole lot of fucking sense. Shoeplex City. Shoe C Dub. Shoe C Dub. Shoe C Dub. I still can't pick. <laughs> Why do you have to make me pick WWE? <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, if, if, because we like to pull your fucking strings. Wait a tick. Ho hold on just a minute. Pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think we're missing a bit of history here. If Johnny Wrestling wins, he becomes NXT's very first Triple Crown champion. Yep. Tag, tag, mid card, heavyweight. Yeah, that would make him. A, that would make him the Triple Crown. And as Maddie points out in the chat, the, the whole, whole shebang. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, also, would Adam Cole count as a Triple Crown champion? I mean, he has not won no. the tag titles. No, that would be uh, Red Dragon slash uh, uh, Rod did, Roddy Strong there. But he did tag with at, with uh, with Kyle O'Reilly that one time for when they when when he defended the titles. Sorry, doesn't count. <sighs> they weren't doing Freebird rules. They weren't doing Freebird rule at the time. And, and Hamble, Hamble's got the perfect answer. Who the winner? Who who wins? Good question. The answer is us. Let's see what you did. There. Everyone you... wins. Everyone wins. It's gonna be a great except, match. Except except the main roster because you know the takeover is gonna shame <sighs> WrestleMania. Again. By the way, I I shared a list. I shared a link to the uh, Gargano Eddie Edwards match that we were referencing. Good call. I will watch it tomorrow night. <laughs> Thank you, Ben Hameen, for uh, uploading that. Nevertheless, uh, yeah, that's NXT Takeover. That's what it is. That being said, let's 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 get to the thing uh, people are expecting here. It's time. For your emails and comments of the week, it's out of the Russellcast at gmail.com. Uh, next week, if you feel like uh, do, doing, uh, doing a thing, please do send it. And uh, we only got one email this week because someone else forgot that they, they're fucking banned. You know who you are. Forever. Yep. Sometimes you gotta be Papa. Anyway. That being said, our, uh, we are, of course, send uh, send uh, send them next week. Yeah, send them all if you want to do a preview for uh, for takeover. And of course, Jim wants supercard. You're more than welcome to do so. We will. I will read them, of course. 
Well, that being said, our uh, one email this week comes up as per usual. Our uh, buddy, you know who it is, D-Dub. That's right, our favorite emailer, <gasps> French French Otaku. There you go. Let's see. Ambience, atmosphere, illumination, experience. Slow turn. Missed me? Hello, Wrestlecast. First of all, I apologize for not appearing last week's episode. I was at a convention, needed to wake up very early, and I was worth the trip for one day. Also, I did meet a cosplayer meet dressed up as Bio Rider from Kamen Rider Black RX. Marking the fuck out. Also, that's, that's cool. a record, by the way. That's got to be some kind of record with the French Otaku announcement. Possibly. Uh, we need somebody to go back through every episode of the WrestleCast that we currently have up and archived on our Podomatic and listen to them all front to back and listen to how long each one is. <laughs> Depending if you keep all of them, I do, but I don't know about the rest of the people there. Yeah, and uh, Twi- yeah, and Twilight Ranger and Hairball are also surprised by how long I could hold that. You, you, you got lungs on you, man. You, you do. You, do. you sound like you got the world's largest suppository shoved up you. T- <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, speaking of that, I, I, I don't want to stop. I, by the way, bio from Black RX. The reason, bl- I will tell you right now, uh, with apologies to people who think Black RX is good, but. Black RX is the reason Masked Rider sucks. Let's just go. I'm going to leave it at that. But that are being sure, said, are you sure it wasn't Furbus? Oh no, no, Furbus is awesome. Furbus is awesome. Hail Furbus! Oh, Furbo! <laughs> but uh, so a little bit of backstory yesterday. Uh, we have uh, obviously I brought it up earlier. Ron, or we had Ron Wasserman. Uh, the gentleman responsible for the soundtrack of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and the theme song. And believe it or not, the X-Men theme song as well. You know, the cartoon. That. That show. Too bad, too bad the nostalgia critic kind of butchered it. Mm-hmm. Butchered it, but I will say this. I did watch those reviews. They were okay. I had a chuckle. Anyways, you were saying, Maddie. So we have him on, and we have him on, and he, uh, spoiler alert, he has, uh, he has, uh, I would say, a, a healthy amount of heat for the current musical composer, director, person for Power Rangers, Noam Keneal. And he shared with us what could only be described as a suppository, Shin Tiger Curl. This is uh, Noam Keneal's, uh, one of Noam Keneal's singles before, this is from way, way back in the day, called My Butterfly. Listen at your risk. I will tell you right now, it sounds like an Enrique Iglesias fucked a helium balloon. Okay, then. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that because... <laughs> Thanks for reminding me of that time I stole Enrique Iglesias' breath mints from his, from his dress. So that's a good thing. You did it good. <laughs> also, Shin, can you stop messing with celebrities when they're working for you? <laughs> he butchered Stand By Me. He had it coming. <laughs> oh, so no, uh, Shin used to work for a concert venue many years back. Very many years back, actually. And uh, he still has not forgiven. Uh, who was it that no showed? Cat fucking Williams. Oh fuck! <laughs> yeah, he still has not forgiven Cat Williams for no showing one event. Little lucky charms, motherfucker! If I ever see him in the street, I'm kicking him in the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just 
tell me all about how pimping it is to be on the ground with ruptured testicles, huh, cat? God damn. <laughs> Anyway, I've provided the link in the chat. Uh, a click at your own risk. Uh, if you're if you're remotely, well, you know. <laughs> anyway, French Otaku. We'll continue with French Otaku now. Uh, anyway, uh, we're two weeks away from WrestleMania, and oh boy, we need to talk. Raw, it's official three way for the women's title at WrestleMania 30, 35 will be the main event. I'm so happy that it finally happened, and well, it is well deserved, despite the clunky buildup. Case in point, what was the point of the beat the cloth challenge other than bragging rights? But this episode of Raw, man, it was a drag. To sum it up, Balor will face Lashley for Lashley as his massive beef for the uh, IC title. Heyman got another confrontation against Rollins. Strowman got, is now feuding with two guys from Saturday Night Live. Don't care. And Ambrose got his last match against Drew McIntyre in a last man standing match, which didn't last long. Yeah, forgettable outside of the women's main event at WrestleMania. <sighs> SmackDown Live. That was one, that was one good episode. I am reading... Kofi Kingston will, de- will headline at WrestleMania 35 for the WWE Championship. I only saw the highlights, but man, that victory was well-deserved for Woods and Big E after the gauntlet match. But this episode wasn't perfect. For instance, Asuka losing her belt to Charlotte for a possible unification at WrestleMania 35 during the Triple Threat. And I assume that Asuka will receive nothing for compensation. You are correct. Speaking of Asuka, she was supposed to face Mandy Rose again at WrestleMania 35. That's if Becky it does had that didn't jinx the idea that Charlotte didn't hadn't brought anything and yes, Charlotte got the title shot because reasons. And yes, I don't want to see Mandy versus Oscar again, which leads to the certain t- to to a certain team sanity. Nothing wrong with the promo between Miz and Shane and the adopted st- stipulation and the added stipulation of the Falls Count Anywhere match, but. Uh, not the team of heels, including Primo, he's still alive. Shelton Benjamin, but sanity. I know they're heels, but why on earth do a group of anti society hooligans would want to join forces with the authority figure like Shane? It makes no sense. And yes, they got manhandled by Miz in a matter of a minute, including his security guards. Remember when, Sa- remember when Sandy was wreaking havoc on NXT? You remember? That's because they were goons. Hired goons? goons? Hired goons. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. If you're going to do it, do it right. Who is it? Goons. Goons. Hired goons. Hired goons. Hired goons. Whoa! Thank you, Jada. Anyway, winners, the triple threat for the Raw Women's title, maybe a title unification, closing WrestleMania 35, congratulations to all our participants. Kofi finally getting his title shot at WrestleMania 35 against Buddy Peacock, and yes, the faces cheering him at the end of SD Law of SmackDown Live, beautiful. JoJo, ring announcer, awaiting a, a child very soon, congratulations to you, miss. The Heart Foundation Master. joining... Huh? Oh, all right. Uh, the Hart Foundation joining the WB Hall of Fame, making Bret Hart a two-time Hall of Famer. Awesome. Losers, the retirement of the Bella Twins from wrestling. Look, it's sad that one twin had to retire, but since then we're into reality TV, that's for the best. The uh, the tribute of Oscar, yes, it was for the better, for the greater good. The four horsewomen holding all the gold, but I feel bad for what's going to happen next. Mustafa Ali getting the name removal just to just Ali. I know it's for the marketing purposes, but purposes, but maybe Vince doesn't want to remember Colonel Mustafa, aka the fucking Iron Sheik. And the feud between Braun Strowman and the hosts of uh, of a uh, weekend update. Somebody smack me in the head with Lucille and get it over with. Walking Dead reference. 
Sorry, bud. You got to suffer with the rest of us. That's it for this hold, weekend. Hold, hold, on. hold on. Huh? I believe we have Negan here who can provide you that service. Don't. Just don't. What, do you want me to do it or what? I think Maddie just doesn't want any Negan impersonations. No, not that. Just, I don't want French Otaku to die. God damn it, T-W. Hey. God damn it, T-W-K. Why'd you have to bring me here on this show when I could be at home having sex with my seven wives? I and thought you were up to Lucille eight. is upset. I thought you were up to eight. I had to get rid of one of them because they talk shit about Lucille. Not uh, cool. No, no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well, if you, if it helps, I did spot a James Ellsworth uh, still twitching. Oh, Wait. don't worry. Mr. Ellsworth is going to have his day coming because he's gutless. And my dear Lucille here, she is a vampire bat. Ah, okay. And yes, I did do the lean when I said that. Very nice. <laughs> anyway, that being said. I blanked what, out what for a second. Days? Excuse me. <laughs> what, one of these days, if I ever run into Jeffrey Dean Morgan at a con... I want to dress up as Negan and just do a Negan impression for him. <laughs> That'd but be a hell of a way to do it. Hello. Hello, Jeffrey Dane Morgan. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Negan. Black Negan. <laughs> <laughs> black Negan. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we got our, have our next black uh, black exploitation movie. Thank you, Dave Chappelle. Yes, <laughs> uh, that was a great. That was a great skit. That was awesome. That being said, though, are your emails and comments of the week? You can send them at therustercast at gmail .com. Send them in next week. We'll read them. Oh, well, I'll read them. I'll be ready for them. I'm working all weekend. I am ready for them. We shall return with a preview of G1 Supercard when we go when we come back, and I will word myself. Don't go away. It'll be a short break. Don't go far. And now a word from our sponsors. If the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, worked for Southpaw Regional Wrestling, but he doesn't because they can't afford him, he'd tell you to go to KFC near the high school for the new Woo Crispy, Woo Tangy, Woo Honey Mustard Barbecue Flavor of Georgia Gold Chicken. Woo! No, seriously, this is not Ric Flair. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Hello, wrestling fans. Colt Cabana coming to you live from the One Hour Tees Arena in beautiful Chicago, Illinois. The pro wrestling action has been great so far. As you can see, Joey really dominating the ring so far. There's a beautiful belly-to-back suplex. And... Uh-oh. Looks like Joey's shirt has been ripped. What's up with that? You ripped my shirt. Let's go check an instant replay, see exactly what happened there. You can see Joey's shirt ripped from the collar, and that's not good when you're trying to wear your pro wrestling t-shirt. Man, you ripped my shirt. It's my only shirt. Joey. Hey, it looks like Ryan from One Hour Tees just threw Joey Ryan a brand new t-shirt. Thanks, pro wrestling tees. ProWrestlingTees.com, over 3,000 wrestling t-shirts designed and sold by pro wrestlers. Wrestlers such as Steve Austin, CM Punk, Macho Man, Mick Foley, DDP, Andre the Giant, Jake the Snake, Hacksaw, Jim Duggan, Scott Hall, Ted DiBiase, Colt Cabana, Joey Ryan, Cliff Compton, and the entire Bullet Club. All stores owned by pro wrestlers. Support pro wrestling today and visit ProWrestlingTees.com. This is WMOB Mobile, 12 on your channel dial and 12 in the TV ratings. And we're 
Welcome back here on the Russell Cast, presented by our retail entertainment on the broken infinite.com, on the Magic on iTunes, and by the way, and uh, all uh, other podcasting places. We're live on twitch.tv slash our retail entertainment. Uh, Twilight Ranger, that wasn't a botch. That was, uh, that was intended. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what you heard. Pretty sure you heard most of this stuff. Matty Tina and uh, the Shin Tyler Curl. Joining you at uh, at uh, this particular evening's festivities, and uh, let's just just jump right into it, gentlemen. We got a big show at the Garden, and it does not involve the Fed. I canceled my WrestleMania party just for this. Really? Yep. Mostly because half of the guys couldn't come due to work obligations. I was like, "Fuck it." Let's do let's do G one special, and they're like, "Shit, we can all make." You, your friends have excellent taste. Hopefully, yeah, they are CJ rewarded for that excellent taste. I believe uh, CJ and Bobbert will be there. Ooh, Bobbert. I mean, CJ says he he he's gonna be a little late since he doesn't get off till five thirty, uh, and Bobbert says he's gonna try to make it. But this will be my first New Japan viewing party. All right, so it'll be a good time, anyways. Uh, Matty, please read for us because we are all illiterate. Oh, whatever. It's it's uh, it's G One Supercard from Madison Square Garden, New York City, New Goddamn York, April sixth, twenty nineteen. That's next week. The reason we're doing it because WrestleMania is too fucking long. <laughs> we may as well get it out of the way now. That being said. The card reads as follows. 11 matches, which seems like a lot, but it's New Japan. We'll take it. It begins with a pre-show Honor Rumble. Basically the New Japan Rumble, but Honor, I guess. It does include uh, people from New Japan and Ring of Honor in there. Uh, Jushin Thunder Liger was the first one announced. They also announced uh, Ring of Honor's uh, site. also announced Kenny King, PJ Black, the Beer City Bruiser, Brian Malonis, and cheeseburger, as cheeseburger. Uh, uh, as the uh, as the uh, as the uh, people uh, participating in this particular event, and yes, cheeseburger, 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 Hi, the Bugsley. best. Welcome. Oh hey, Bugsley! Hi, Bugsley. Here. You made it! Yay! Just in time. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah. So yeah, that will be the rumble, and now in the main car proper, we begin with uh, with a uh, all belts on line on the line match, the never open weight title ta- versus the Ring of Honor Television Championship. Uh, the proponents Will Osprey holding the never open weight title versus Jeff Cobb holding the Ring of Honor TV title. Mm. This love- this is gonna be delicious. I love me some Will Ospreay, and I love me some Mr. Athletic. So. Oh, my God. This is... I don't, I don't, have they faced off before? I haven't seen it, if they did. And trust me, I would remember Will Ospreay versus Jeff Cobb. Oof, that reminds me. I need to re-up my New Japan uh, subscription, because that's how I'm going to be watching that freaking bitch, and I'll be watching that fucker. A laugh, motherfucker. That being said, Roosh taking on Dalton Castle. And Ru- Roosh is going to have a freaking weekend, uh, man. He's got another match for MLW that they've been plugging the shit out of ever since. And this one, that's another good match right there. Uh, who was it again, Matty? You, you were coming in kind of garbled. For- I was coming in garbled. God damn it, is the internet fucking up again? Uh, I was able to hear what you were saying. You're talking about Roosh versus Castle. Yeah, Roosh versus Castle. Roosh's got another match uh, for Major League Wrestling. Not familiar with him. Uh, he, he's a luchador. Ah, uh, okay. You may know him as the guy who started a little faction called Lugabernale. Oh, no. Oh, don't do it again. Can you hear me? Check one two. Yeah. yeah, I can hear you. I can't. It's it's. Yeah, it's right now I'm gar- I'm coming in garbled again. 
God damn it, it did it again. Or it's about to do it again. I'm still alive, am I? Check, one, two. Alright, you're coming in clear now. Yeah, I was like, the, the, the connection was fucking dunced again. Alright, let's see what was up with that. It's too bad there isn't a server to fix that shit with, but whatever. We're back online. I was garbled. By the way, you were coming in garbled when you were doing Los Ingobernables. Yeah. Which sucks. It must, it must be it must be a Discord thing, then. More than likely. Hi, what Devil. Show? Hello, Hi, Devil. Devil's here. Yay! You guys are coming a little late there today, but hey! Live, uh, ladies and gentlemen, live! We're live, motherfucker. Live TV is awesome. Yeah, defeating Castle. Anyways, I could see uh, Roosh defeating Castle. More than likely. I want to check this real quick, because I know... Uh, let's see. Upcoming events. Upcoming events. Where's the Renegades? Battle Riot. And actually, it is... Uh... Yeah, mm -hmm. Battle Riot 2. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What was the match here? Lucky die. Uh, oh, wait, maybe not. No, 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 no. I know what it is. Give me a minute. Rise of the Renegades. That's probably what it is. Let me see. Unless they cancel it, which would be a dick move. Ah! I shall leave it to you, your gentleman's discretion since I am not familiar with this person. That's fair enough. And hey, even it's not Mildred's in there. Here. Even Mildred's here. Hey, the monk. Hey, you folks are coming in late. <laughs> but it's okay. Right, you're here. It doesn't matter. I, I forget who it was, but they announced a big match. I think it was Volador Jr. I think it might have been. Possibly. Nevertheless, Rouge anyway. Duncastle is going to be a match. Yes. Rush. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. Mayu uh, Ayotani. Taking on Kelly Klein for the Women of Honor World Championship. Uh, Iwatani to retain. Gotcha. gotcha. I am unfamiliar with either of them, so I will leave it to your turn. Iwatani is one of the top Japanese wrestlers. Yeah. And Kelly Klein has been a constant for Ring of Honor's Women's Division. She's known as the gatekeeper. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I unfortunately am very, very behind on Ring of Honor's Women's they do do uh, Women of Honor Wednesdays. I do know that. Hello? Cute. I'll see if I can check that out. If All right. possible. All right. Bully Ray taking on a, an, op an opponent to be announced in Open Challenge Street Fight. New York City Open Challenge Street Fight. And, uh, gentlemen, I can't help but notice a severe lack of Minoru Suzuki, despite the fact he will be in New York for the weekend. Well, maybe just go in there to visit some libraries. Yes, I shall go to the library to look up how to inflict pain to Bully Ray. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm calling. Bully Ray versus Minoru Suzuki. It seems like everybody's calling Minoru Suzuki. Everyone and their man. mother's calling Minoru Suzuki. He's in town. He's he's going to be for he's wrestling for Rough Pro for God's sakes. He's in town. And then I go to WrestleMania to compete in Battle Royal. But you're not contracted by WWE. <laughs> Does it look like Dude. he cares? Yes. And he was literally after... raising his hand when Braun Strowman was was like calling for volunteer for a volunteer last year. He was like holding a beer, going, "Sure, sure, I'll I'll stretch I'll stretch Sheamus and Cesaro. I'll stretch some marks." And By then the way, after um, Battle Royal, no witnesses. Also, did anyone see the uh, video? It's almost. When uh, NJPW without context put up a video of Minoru Suzuki training Michael Nakazawa. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Oh God! Mike, <laughs> Mike so needs all sense. the help he can get. It, Mike needs all the help he can, he can get when he's facing against Jabay. Well, it's. It, I'm pretty sure it's from quite a while ago because oh, yeah. it was back when Suzuki had his original haircut. Back when he he'll actually had the double fruit. He'll still need the, the training to face off against Alex Jabay. Also, one thing I didn't notice re until recently, but Minoru Suzuki calls himself Suzuki D. Minoru on Twitter. Yeah. What? Yeah. Well, that would explain his personality. Simple to the point and has absolutely no fear of death. But Luffy has fear of death, especially when he's near water. No, he doesn't. I'm pretty dead. No, he does not. He has expressed no fear of dying whatsoever. Even if you were to toss him into a swimming pool. As long as he goes out on an adventure, he doesn't care about dying. Well, all righty then. Anyways, uh, rest in peace, Bully Ray. Yes. <laughs> Hell, even, even if know... it's just Toki Makabe, I'll be okay with that. But whatever. Do you know, whatever. Who, I, do you know who I am? Yes. Dead man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Pants to be darkened. Yes, if that happens, pants <laughs> to be darkened. <laughs> somebody somebody, get Devon on the phone. And Devon's like, oh, my brother! You're on your own. I'm out of here. <laughs> Why do you think I wanted to stay in WWE? To avoid bullshit like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my brother! I'll see you in the afterlife. <laughs> be like Dan Aykroyd and Casper. Who are you going to call? Someone else. <laughs> All right, Taiji Ishimori. Yeah, that 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 joke bomb. I'm gonna move on, just like that movie. Anyway, uh, Taiji Ishimori defends the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship, taking on Dragon Lee and Bandido. Taiji to retain in what will be an excellent match that could steal the show. Mm. Check your mic real quick. I don't know if it was uh, it might have lowered. Taiji Ishimori to retain in a match that will steal the show. My hmm. fucking ears, Al. I'm kind of drifting towards Dragon Lee. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but that's just my feeling on it. If I'm Dragon Lee wins, he's doing it for his husband. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm calling to each Ishimura to retain. He's pretty. I, it, it seems to me like he's going to be the the ace of the juniors for for a little while. There, they need someone. And match number seven. Uh, so we went from, <sighs> you know, what I, I can't, I can't say I blame, um, can't say I blame Mattis for being a little pissed, but he still gets uh, God versus Briscoes. But uh, they added, uh, they added, uh, they uh, they added, uh, they they added uh, Evil and Sonata in there, and. Uh, they uh they added uh they they added uh PCO yeah. and Brody Kane because they got the belts now. So the yeah, champs and... are uh Gorillas of Destiny, Tamatanga and Tonga Loa, and uh, Villain Enterprises, Brody King and Not Human PCO. And the other challengers are Evil and Sonata and Briscoes, who made their initial challenge as Ring of Honor cha attack champs. Winner gets all of the belts. Just all of them. Hey. I'm putting, I'm going to guess that it will be... I can't help but think that the, per that the team taking away all the belts is going to be the G.O.D. Makes mm. sense, but P.C.O. P.C.O. I'd say either G.O.D. or Evil and Sonata. Eh, I could kind of see a PC. I, I could see. Uh, I could see. I could see uh, Villain Enterprises retain. Actually, okay, but I haven't seen Villain Enterprises in action, so I can't judge. Eh. 
<laughs> and Haribol wondering, is PCO Maurice's dad? No. No. Anyways, I should still be one hell of a match, and uh, it's going to be a clusterfuck, but a fun clusterfuck. And not the bad kind of clusterfuck that you normally see in the WWE. Anyways, moving on, Maddie. Yeah. Speaking of, uh, speak well, not speaking of yet. We got the we got the British Heavyweight Championship uh, after that. Zack Saber Jr. taking on Hiroshi Tanahashi. I think this match has a certain time, and that time is Zack Saber time. Yes, yes, ZSJ retains. I just got one piece of advice for you, Tana. You just tap out. Also, Zack Saber time at MSG. Doesn't matter if he speaks Japanese or English. Taka will get one of the big pops of the night for that. No, no, no. Wait, Maddie. If, if, if uh, Minoru Suzuki is wrestling Bully Ray, then we could hear probably the loudest Kaze ni no Ray ever. Yes, that is very true. That is very true. But I will put that against Taka's Zack Saber time or just tap out from the crowd. That just reminds me, like, this crowd is going to be so into everything because they're yes. just so excited for a non WWE show at the Garden. That they're it's just, just going to be red hot. It's by history, is what it is. Yeah, so this crowd is going to be red hot for everything. Yes. Everything! Everything! Are you guys, are you guys paraphrasing the professional? Uh, we are quoting the draw. Sound like you were doing the professional. Uh, no, Sam McCallahan. Because his whole uh, catchphrase is OVE Ohio versus everything! Everything! It could easily transition over to the professional. I have never seen that movie. Actually, the professional is low key, though. Just saying. I've never seen the professional, though, so. Meh. John Renault, Gary Oldman. It's a halfway You're decent a Gary, flick. You're a, a Gary old man. It's worth a watch. Speaking of tranquilo, <laughs> also speaking of worth for a both watch. Right. That is very true. Um, speaking of tranquilo, Tetsuya Naito defends the Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship, the IWGP version, of course. Against Kota Ibushi. Okay, part of me wants Ibushi to win because I like seeing him with a belt. That's just awesome. But at the same time, I want Naito to be IC and heavyweight champion at the same time. So, urgh. Naito doesn't show up because he's too busy wandering around WrestleMania. <laughs> Trying to piss off Vince. He's like, what the hell are you doing? I don't want you doing that. Tranquilo. Fuck it, Tranquilo. This is the Hall of Fame. This is the Hall of Fame for the WWE. God damn it. (laughs) I remember ordering any Chinaman here. Oh, God. Don't get... No. No. And 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 right when DX gets inducted, (laughs) Shawn Michaels looks at his side like, when do we get Japanese members? (laughs) (laughs) And for and no just, other it, reason, and for no other reason, Naito just tosses the belt, tranquilo, and Destino's Billy Gunn for no reason. While eating a slice of New York-style pizza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let us dream, folks. We're having fun. <laughs> and uh, I don't know which no, one's going to be the main like event, to... but it's a legit double main no. event. Maddie, also, Maddie, I want to know who are you? Who are you calling Naito versus Ibushi? Who are you calling? Hard, hard to say, really. I mean, yeah. Go wrong. Uh, who is the winner? I will, uh, Who is the winner? Uh, yes. I'm going to make a call right now. 
I'm going right. to make it definitive. I'll make a call. Ibushi. All right. All right. All right. My call is, and this is my definitive Shin Tiger Crow response to this query. The winner of this match and the new and the the IWGP Intercontinental Champion will be. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Trouto, Berrada, <laughs> and I won't say it again because I don't like repeating myself. <laughs> now we could go either way with this one. I'm assuming the IWGP title will be main event, but legitimately, le- le- this is two main events, no matter what the order is. Uh, Wiki has it: uh, Ring of Honor first, I- uh, New Japan last. So we'll go as is. But at this point, if they put, I, 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 that's the thing. Ladder match for the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship of the World. Jay Lethal defends against Marty Skrull and Matt Taven. It's time for a party, but not any kind of party. It will be finally time after all of this time of waiting for a Marty party. I am also going to pick Marty Skrull. As much as I love Jay Lethal, and I do love me some Jay Lethal, uh-huh. I think Marty's due. It's going to be a bruiser of a match, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. These three, three guys are all going to go through hell. I mean, it's a ladder match. In fact, uh, you know, Ring of Honor, they generally call their ladder matches ladder, ladder wars. wars. It is, it, right now, it's just billed as a ladder match, but uh, yeah, this will be a war. And in the uh, and uh, and main event for the New Japan side, Jay White defends the IWGP Heavyweight Championship of the World against the winner of the New Japan Cup. Not Seiya Sonata. No, it's Kazuchika Okada. I will say this though: the, them, them semis and them finals. Watch them. Just yes, they were absolutely them. phenomenal. I was on the edge of my seat. For all of those matches. Can't say I blame you about Sonata, though. He looked like he was about to go over. There's always next year. There's always there's always this year. He could win the G1. Son of a bitch. Yeah. yeah I son, think I bl- of, son of every bitch. Yes, do it. Put Sonata in the main event of Wrestle Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen. Do it, you coward. <laughs> Shit, I think I blew T-Dub's mind there. <laughs> He could could also be in the same block as the champ, and he could pin the champ. That's King of Pro Wrestling right there. Nevertheless, I really, really want Jay White to retain here. This is his first defense. Make it count. Give him what he wants, what he really, really wants. (sighs) There it is. Boom. I'm I'm kind of siding with Okada for this one. Here's how I see it. it has oh, hold on, Shin's explaining himself. Right. Nothing to do with my extreme distaste for Switchblade, Kiwi, J. White. <laughs> I'm sure it doesn't. Nope, not at all. You, you, but but he's the world's greatest knife pervert. Ah. He can be a knife pervert on his own time. <laughs> but he needs to share his love for knives with the world. Well, Here's he, can how fuck I see as many, he can fuck as many knives as he wants to in his own bedroom back in New Zealand. <laughs> Here's how I see it. My call of Marty Skrull winning the ladder match stays no matter what. If Jay White and Oka- if White and Okada are in the undercard somewhere in near the semi-main position, I see Jay White retaining. If it's the main event, like the last match of the night, I see Okada ret- winning. Okay, I can I can get behind that. That makes I mean, sense. Yeah, because a lot a lot a lot of fans are more familiar. A lot of at least American fans are more familiar with Okada than they are Jay White. At least on a global. I, I, and considering this, the international is, fan base yeah. and the fact they sold out that quickly, I'm not I'm not scared that no one will be unknown in this crowd. I'm not. I'm, in, I'm not saying that that Jay White is unknown to this crowd. It's just people are more familiar with okada 
I, I understand what you're saying, but this this is the kind of crowd that will know what no, of New Japan, and they will be plenty familiar with Jay White. I think it's just a better happy ending to see Okada with the belt again than with White. But if it's if the latter match is the main event, obviously everyone will be happy. Marty Scurll will be the winner and all that good stuff. But if Jay White, if White, if the IWGP title is the heavy is the headline event, the last match of the night, Okada. The image of Okada winning at MSG, making it rain at MSG as like the final moments of, of the event, it just makes a whole lot of sense. For a WrestleMania weekend, too. Yeah. But I'm not, not even in context of WrestleMania weekend, though, that, that's good context. Out of context, WrestleMania, it's, it's, it's a big wrestling event. First non-fed event at MSG. It's history. You need a little bit of history. That's how I see it. But you know what? I could be wrong. You never know. You never and know. What, and what better history to make than with this generation's super champion? That is Okada. Yeah. Technically, he don't need it, but you never know. All right, gentlemen. And that's next week. Part two. Where we preview ten and a half hours of fucking WrestleMania. You know, you think I'm kidding, but with the pre-show, they're they're estimating around like it'll be like a three-hour pre-show and f almost five hours of WrestleMania. It's a it's. I wish I could be sixteen here to help fucking you. matches, folks. Just I wish I I could be here to help you next week, Maddie, but unfortunately, I can't. You know, people are wondering if we're gonna have guests, and I thought I was uh, I was going to invite Shan, but. Obviously, he's gonna be busy. <laughs> I got, I got, I, I gotta get ready for t the for the next day for the um, New Japan party, and I gotta do a lot of cooking. Well, you'll you at least have us in the background listening to us, right? Damn right. Goddamn right. Damn well, better. <laughs> but uh, no, the reason why we 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 did, we did this is simply because WrestleMania. We, we're doing TakeOver. We're doing the preview. We're not doing... If there's any last-minute news, we'll cover it in the first segment, but it'll be very last-minute, and we're not expecting news because we'll be doing TakeOver, which will have just aired at the, at the time, of time we uh, we go live, and WrestleMania. And maybe we could squeeze in an email or two. So, we'll see. Do send them in, though. We will. I will definitely read them. Let's do winners and losers, gents. Shen, you're the guest. You kick us off with the loser of the week. Do we have a D cell? It's been a while since we had a D cell. You saw SmackDown, Maddie. You damn well know we got a fucking D cell. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I'm not even going to linger too much longer on this. D cell has to go to Asuka versus Charlotte. Good match crap ending that makes Oscar look like a prop and totally devalues the entire SmackDown women's division. Yeah. I don't hate Charlotte. She's just doing her job. I just for booking this shit because you know he did. Yeah. As In that case, I'm going to have a controversial winner, but we'll get to that. As, as for lo my regular losers, uh... Rod SmackDown, they, I mean, well, not not so much them. More like the the build up for for Mania overall. I know you said that that there's a thing where shit build may, does not equal a shit pay per view because it normally does turn out great, but I'm just not feeling this card. I mean, we aside from a few matches, uh, we got two, we got the tag teams of, of the Usos and the Revival doing nothing right now. United States title match is just Ray saying that he had a title shot, but instead not actually earning it. And his son Dominic's probably going to get sent to Night Night Land because he keeps talking shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you talk about Samoa Joe, you put respect on that name. Yeah. Yep. You got the Intercontinental title match, which is just a rematch from last month's pay per view at Fast Lane. And just so many question marks right now. It should not have been this bad. But uh, another loser, I have to give it to Bray Wyatt. And Hairball knows why, because I'm, I'm not 
too upset that him and JoJo are having a kid. It's the way he's been going about it. Because uh, a few months ago, when somebody asked why, how he was able to get a woman like JoJo, he said by being a damn man. And I'm like, you. It doesn't take a man to have an affair on his wife and leave his children in the lurch just for a for for a fine piece of booty like JoJo. I mean. I know they're trying to present it as some kind of happy thing. I'm happy that she's having her first kid, but for Bray Wyatt, it comes off make, look, making him look like a major man, major duty swag, in my opinion. That's just me. And those are all the losers. Like, all right, Dana. Uh, let's see. When it comes to losers, so like, I'll just do the obvious thing. Take just taking a huge dump on the SmackDown Women's Division. Taking them completely off the uh, WrestleMania main card. That is, unless they put the Battle Royal on the main card, but we'll see on Yeah. I don't see that happening, to be fair. But uh, WWE in general, for the reasons you just brought up for me, simply because <sighs> you had Oscar on the main card. I understand you're trying to trim down the already uh, stacked card, and I say stacked in the quote unquote division. It's not stacked, it's over fucking long. Ladies and gentlemen, the problem with the bloated roster. A whole lot of deserving people. And you only got four hours to fill. Oh. We got a follow, everybody. Oh, no, we had a host. We had a host. Who started hosting? I missed that. Thanks it. Well, whoever gave us the host, thank you very much for hosting. Pretty much appreciated. Show's almost over, but thank you for hosting anyway. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, WWE. Uh, hosting uh, WWE for fucking up the SmackDown Women's Division. All you have to do is leave it alone. We've lived well enough alone with the, with the main event, and they're overbooking the shit out of it. Yeah, and here's the thing. Even if Oscar versus Mandy Rose wouldn't have been the greatest thing in the world, at least would have been something for them to do. All right, Adex Spider and Zachary in the chat uh, who are hosting. Thank you very much. Um, go ahead. And as, yeah, as I was saying, even if Mandy Rose versus Oscar wouldn't have been the best thing in the world, at least they would have been able to do something. And Oscar was apparently planned to retain, so that would have been a cool defense for her. You know, actually defending a championship at Romania that could have been cool just for that image. Yeah, just a, a title defense, especially after last year. It just makes sense. It just would have been a nice bit of redemption. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Shin. Go right ahead, pal. Winners. winners. Let's, do Let's do it. Oh, so many winners. I don't know who to choose first, but I'll choose Velveteen Dream for being Velveteen Dream, as we that all know him sense. to be. Kofi for finally getting into the main event, getting the world title shot at WrestleMania, and we know he's going to win. We the hope. announcement of Michael God would. The, the announcement of Michael Nakazawa versus Alex Jabeli as CEO <laughs> this year. Yes, oh, Daddy. Yes, God. all the yes. <laughs> oh, that's uh, going to be so much fun. Uh, let's see. Who, who else? Um, uh, uh, G1 special in, in, in Madison Square Garden. We're all going to watch it. It's all. Oh, yeah. Hold on. And, uh, one more. Hold on. Repeat that because I think you garbled up for a second because of the CPU bullshit. Sorry. Um, uh, the G1 special in MSG All right. came a long way and they, right. they gave a nice little FU to Vinnie Mac. And, whew, damn, miss, I'm missing one. There's some, somebody want to give a, give a, give a winner to, um, Ah, damn it. I just had it. Ah, damn this hemp Dude, oil. Dude, it's good. okay. We'll probably have it in our winner's list. <laughs> probably, but um, if I can remember it, I'll let you know. But those are my winners. Tate up. One non-wrestling winner goes out to Gearbox for finally giving us a trailer for Borderlands 3. I am so excited. You just can't fight it? It's just, the, like, the trailer had everything yeah. that we could have won, and we had... 
We had like we had all the guns, all the explosions. We had fucking Reese from Tales of the Borderlands appear on there. We had Brick doing a fucking saxophone solo because why the fuck not? <laughs> I'm so excited. Give me Borderlands three. Give me, give me what I want. Give them all the claptrap. Yes, give me claptrap. <laughs> oh, I remember now. Ah, oh, who do you got? Uh, I'm going to give a non-wrestling winner to my mom. Aww. We were, not for the reasons you think. We were, me and, we were taking in groceries today. My dad bought some pupusas. You, any of you who are Mexican or had Mexican food will know what a pupusa is. And when I came into the house and she was like, what is this, Greg? I'm trying to, what is this? What's your dad bought? What is this? Pussy chips? Oh, she was, she tried to pronounce it, but she instead called it pussy chips. I am not making this shit up. <laughs> I laughed for 10 straight minutes. <laughs> that brought my mood up greatly. I mean, <laughs> all right, did we, did we have more winners on your end there, T Dub? I don't think I could top that, but All right. um, I'm gonna try. Uh, just I'm gonna say What's the it? upcoming Ring of Water New Japan show. Yeah, G1 Supercard there. All right. Well, I'm not gonna put G1 Supercard because that's next week, and we know it's gonna kick some ass. So let's not, you know, dance around the bush here. Uh, let's see, Kofi Kingston, congratulations, Ron Wasserman. Once again, I explained. One of the best hours of podcasting I've done in a in a very long time, if not ever. Uh, the recap, the VOD is available on YouTube right now on the RVT Entertainment YouTube. Do check it out after the show; you will not regret it. And um, this is gonna be kind of controversial, Charlotte, because as Shin explained earlier, she was just doing her job. She was just. It's the people booking this shit that are the losers, but hey, she's the all-time winningest woman in WWE history. That's a win. I'll, get, I'll give her a win for that. You're not going to find any argument with me. I'm, You know, and in hindsight, it just makes sense. All right, we got a couple of plugs here to do before we uh, head out for the evening. Shit. Excuse me. You uh, you had Pete Dunn read a chapter of your of your famous book there. Yes, yes, he did. Um, as requested by um, Mr. Hairball in the chat, he wanted me. He wanted uh, Pete Dunn to read a chapter of my book, New World. And so, after getting this fabulous new microphone provided by Miss Pugsley in the chat, I was able to do it. It's thirty plus minutes of Pete Dunn. Shitting on my book because that's just what Pete Dunn does. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the book. That's what we're trying to tell you. Amazon.com. Yep. New World by Greg Haynes. It's it's in the description of the video. I got my first um, uh, professional review. And Ooh. apparently it, it was very, very glowing. And, of course, and it's, it's similar to all the other reviews in that everyone wanted more out of the book out of the book but don't worry i am currently writing the second book right now so there's that but and i plan to do some more warm horse videos now that i got my new mic it's all on youtube at at maxicorn you already know hit me up on twitter hashtag captain luffy baby and that's all for my cheap plugs friends can fuck <laughs> yes they can T-Dub, you got a new video out as well. Yes, a video wherein I essentially riff over uh, the AKI N64 video game intros. Good riff, bud. It's good riff. Yeah, there's, I put it into the Twitch chat right there if anyone is interested in watching me act like a goober for about 10 minutes. You did fine. There, there are a couple of jokes I was proud of. Yeah. What? So yeah, go go check that out if you're interested in that sort of thing. Uh, currently working on my next video right now. It's going to be very different from that one, but still on staying on the topic of pro wrestling. What? 
What? What? What? What? What? I'm not doing this all night. Did you miss what we were saying? No, I was I was referencing that truck driver from the intro to Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, I feel like no. a dumbass. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that character model is only used for that scene and is never seen again. Oh, yeah. Not even DLC. Not even, like, a unlockable character. Well, yeah, the DLC wasn't a thing on the N64. Well, you know, for, for you for you, for you, you internet people there, unlockable character is what I meant to say. Not even unlockable. That, that That's just, they just made that thing just to go, what? And that's it. Yeah, it literally just shows up for those few seconds. It's really strange. A big lip, Daddy. Get your moment. Uh, yeah, I guess for lack of better phrases, yeah, that basically covers it. Pretty much. And of course, on my end, you know what it is. I've, I just plugged the crap out of our Ranger recap, which we had our guest, Ron Wasserman, uh, who was freaking amazing, by the way. Uh, on uh, Sunday, it will be the follow-up from that interview. I'm pretty sure Toker Riffs live. Uh, as always, 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I will not be there next week because WrestleMania, obviously, but I will be there this weekend riffing your tokusatsu as per usual with my buddies, the Ace, the Shades, and the Easy Rider, who is currently watching the return of Joe Bob Briggs to regular television movie commentary. Last drive in on Shutter, in case you were wanting. And all that good stuff. But until then, of course, you can follow me on Twitter at manag316. Follow t -Dub at t -Dub official. Of course, the Shintai Girl person on Twitter at Captain Luffy. C-A-P-T-L-U-F-F-Y. You can get your t-shirts at streamlabs.com slash RVT Entertainment slash merch. And of course, uh, Patreon, T Dub's uh, Patreon, patreon.com slash TWK reviews. Of course, my tip jar is always paypal.me slash manaj316. You could any monetary fin financial things are very much welcome. That being said, that thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, Shin, thanks for coming by. It was nice. Tell Pete Dunn he's uh, tell Pete Dunn good luck next week. He doesn't need luck. He's Pete Dunn. You know this. He'll need it though. <laughs> Just saying. That being said, of course, uh, thank you very much for shooting in and all that good stuff. We will be back next week for WrestleMania week. Fourteen matches. I just checked the wiki, which is the reason why uh, uh, Shin cut off for a second because CPU is a thing now. But 14 matches, my god. And that's not the entire fucking thing. T-Dub, I think it might have, uh, I think it might have uh, done a, a good call here. Yay, I did good things! Speaking of, on behalf of, uh, of, of, uh, Captain Louvre yourself, Shin Tiger Curl. I'm Walter, and I, oh, and I'm a bitch. Slippity slap, slippity slap. <laughs> And TWK. Until next time, this is TWK of TWK Reviews. Don't need to work your gimmick. Good night, listen, gentlemen. My name is Manny J, reminding you to help professional wrestling support independent promotion as soon as possible. If you're flying to New York, it's a great opportunity to do so. Rough Pro, Joey Janelle's uh, in the uh, uh, spring break's gonna be there. Freaking Ring of Honor G1. No, that's not exactly. Andy, it's it's still for a flow for flipping the bird of any and don't you want to do that so if you're in new york plenty independent wrestling go find it support it till then have a good one have a safe one we'll talk to you after nxt takeover in new york have a good one have a safe one bye everybody bye bye
Dave said, and I quote, if you would like me to appear then at WrestleMania, you will give me what I want. What I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I mean, this goes on and on. It is like pages of I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. Uh -huh.